we have a bit about what ATF is all about? Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, AATF stands for African Agricultural Technology Foundation. It is a not-for-profit organization aims at accessing and delivering of uh, technology to small-scale farmers in sub-Saharan Africa. It is our uh, headquarters in um, Nairobi, Kenya, um, but we covered it 48 uh, states in sub-Saharan Africa. What is the collaboration between AATF and IATF? Uh, AATF is a new foundation. We have been in a business for the past five years. Uh, right from the beginning, uh, we have uh, uh, collaboration with uh, various institutions, including RITA. Uh, we collaborate with RITA in various projects. For instance, in the project to develop uh, uh, cowpea, that is resistant to uh, the insect. We are collaborating with RITA on banana and plantain to develop banana plantain resistant to one of the diseases called banana bacterial wilt. And also we are collaborating with the RIT to develop technologies uh, to uh, control or rather limit the production of toxin uh, by uh, fungus called mycotoxins uh, in grain, uh, particularly in maize. So uh, we are collaborating with the RIT on various uh, 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 projects, uh, being in areas of, uh, of mechanization, for instance, for cassava, or in the area of productions. Uh, in uh, improving the productivity of small-scale farmers uh, for the crop that they produce and consume. How do you measure your impact? Our impact uh, at AATF, as well as um, presume uh, the impact that uh, uh, RIT is looking, is how do we change or what is the livelihood uh, improvement that we're making at the farmer's level. So this is the way you can really measure your impact. Because uh, if you get the technology, technology by itself will not change. But technology needs to be put in the hand of farmers and the farmer needs to use it. So this is where AHF comes in and this is where we measure our impact. We measure our impact at the change at the livelihood of the scale, uh, small scale farmers. That be in, can be in, in the terms of improving the health, that can be also in terms of improving the income of, of, of the farmers. Uh, so these are the various factors that we measure our impact. Looking at private-public partnership, how has it been in sub-Saharan Africa? Uh, for the past 10 years, um, these new concepts of uh, public-private partnerships are being on board. And AATF has been really set up to really harness the forces and the strength of the public institutions like IID and then bringing on board the, the, the private sector. So this is really working. Uh, and then uh, yesterday, even we heard the Director General of uh, IIT, uh, Dr. Hartman, uh, telling us that it works. And then from an AATF point of view, I can also say that it works. So it works because when you bring people on a common ground, so uh, certainly they understand that we have to move uh, and, and, and lift farmers from their poverty. It's really work on them bringing private um, uh, uh, partners with the uh, private institutions uh, to, to work towards that. How do you think an organization like IITA can improve on its partnership with NGOs and with other organizations? Uh, this is a good. Uh, uh, um, this is really uh, a good question. I think uh, RITA, for the past 40 years, have been developing tools to improve the livelihood of, of uh, a small-scale farmer in sub-Saharan Africa. So, for doing that, uh, at some point you need to have other partners, other players to come on board because uh, RITA cannot do all by itself. So this is where the partnerships comes in, being in the terms of. NGOs who are working on the ground, because these people are closer to the to end users, uh, the community-based uh, 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 systems, the private uh, system. So I think RIT needs really these entities uh, to really take up the technologies and make it uh, work. So this is where the, the partnership is very important.
and I see, I, I see that IIT is really doing uh, the, 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 the very well on, on that and it should continue to do that. What steps do you think you, you feel that if IIT attacks, mm. it's really going to improve in terms of its partnership with uh, some other collaborators? I think partnership is, uh, uh, is very important. But managing the partnership is also very important because it's not something that you just do overnight. So IIT may learn from organizations as small as AATF because we have, de uh, we have been defined really to, to try to model and uh, to bring to partnership together. I think uh, IIT could also learn from this and also AATF will learn from the, 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 the partnership that IIT have developed through its research for the uh, 40 years with, uh, with, for instance, the, 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 the national, the NAS, National Agricultural Resource uh, Systems. So the point here is, uh, yes, build on the capacities, learn from the lessons, uh, and also move forward. Forward looking is very important on that. And then this is where uh, I really um, will suggest that uh, IIT keep its door open, its eyes really open, wide open, and then look at what are the channels that will carry out properly what they are doing. So in, in, in that way, the product that we're going to develop at the session will really reach farmers. So we cannot do all. Partnership along the, the value chain will be important that each players really play their role in, in the whole uh, process. Aflatoxins are becoming a very common subject in Africa. Uh, we've had uh, some stories that they kill. Now, how do you see the fight against aflatoxins in Africa? Uh, aflatoxin is a really a killer and is a slow killer in the sense that uh, uh, on the long run, when you consume product, bean grain or granite, which has been contaminated with the fungus, the fungus produces the, the toxin and they cannot see it and you, in, you eat it and you inject it, it has it's, it's been very demonstrated that uh, this, this toxin has some effect on the health, big in cancer uh, of the liver and so on and so forth. And when uh, the injection is, uh, you, you eat a, a very uh, contaminated product, like the case in Kenya uh, in 2004, 2005, where we have over 100 people died. So, so this is where you can really see the, 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 big, uh, the, the big picture, a big impact. So uh, aflatoxin is a very important uh, uh, problem on the health side and also on the trade side of it. Because uh, in the 60s, you have uh, the, the pyramids of, uh, of uh, peanuts uh, in the northern part of Nigeria. And then today, for instance, the European Union have uh, set some limit of trade. So if your product, being peanut or maize or whatever you, you support, have uh, as in, in need some toxins at the level beyond the limit, they only reject your product. So we, that's why the, this problem of aflatoxin is very important for two reasons. First, for the health, and the second for the trade. So we need to address this, and now we have some solutions to address it. We need to make a campaign on it so that people understand, and we also have a, a solution to it. And this is where uh, this project is all about, bringing together our IT, developing the technology, and then AATF bringing these partners together to make sure that we deliver this technology uh, to the farmers.